this is no word of a lie. He is Mick Jagger's osteopath. It's Monday, good morning. Here I am back at the Riding House Cafe. Now, for those of you who follow this vlog, this cafe in uh, Fitzrovia is quite relevant to this moment in time. I was in here on, um, I think it was March the 24th, I think it might have been the 21st, so I've forgotten, I should know this, when we went into lockdown. I was actually in here filming um, and we came out to silence at about eight o'clock at night and this is usually a thriving busy media area um, then I was one of the first to come back in when we came back out of lockdown and um, you know we want to support these local bars and this is this is a great meeting place for all of us it's around the corner from the BBC um, and now it's Monday following the Saturday announcement that from Thursday we are going back in to lockdown or uh, Oh, I've just seen over there, I could have my eyelashes tinted. Wow. Oh. Trouble is, I don't know. Oh, should I bother? I mean, at least I have my hair done in time. Should I even, should we bother? Let's just get hairy. Hairy. Doesn't matter, does it really? Um, maybe we should use this month to just get hairy, let our hair grow, pack the carbs, get fat. I don't know about you, I, my exercise, well, as you know, I walk, so, I was walking in Regent's Park this morning, I shall walk tomorrow morning, but I am going to go in here, get a juice for George, because George is producing today. Um, I did say I'll meet you in the Riding House Cafe, and he said, I'm far too busy. Get him. Anyway, I'll see you at work. So yeah, this will close on Wednesday night at 10. Um, George has had his hair cut. I've had my hair cut, thank you heavens. But it doesn't. Because, well, no, because it, it's going to be. No, everyone's racing to the hairdressers. Why are you. Um, it doesn't look that different. I don't know why you said yours looks really, really different. Oh, no, mine does look different. Do you not see mm. that they've actually lightened it? But anyway, I'm pleased I had oh, it yeah, done. It was actually quite dark. It was very dark. dark. And you, did you have yours done because we know you know. No, I didn't have an idea. I don't know. Can you raise one eyebrow? Oh, my God. That's so Roger Moore. Oh, yeah. So Roger Moore. Um, very nostalgic. Very nostalgic. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is Monday after the big announcement. George is optimistic George enough is to think it's, to it's only going to be it's only going to be four weeks. Let's it will see. Only be four. We'll have to wait and see. I was thinking of letting myself just get hairy, fat, yes. and non-exercise just Nothing for four new. weeks. Why don't we have a holiday from self-grooming? We could do that, couldn't we? Oh, that'd be yes, but you can't because if you let yourself go, the minute you just You've got it. It's like if you're working from home, you have to be very, very close. You have to dress up and make yourself look good and sort of, you know, make an effort. Otherwise, you feel. Uh, you my friend she Michelle Fairley. I can see her. My eyes. friend Michelle Fairley loves George. It's the only reason I'm I filming him. Well, I haven't. I, I mean, we haven't yet to share a drink. But I'm sure. You've never we, met. She's. Where been, we know. No. no. Anyways, it's been a hell of a morning. Um, yeah, we've had a cancellation, but we'll get over How dare it. someone cancel the Joker well, show in the afternoon? Do they not realise? I mean, it's you or Radio 4. Who it's me, me or Radio 4. I mean, you know. And who gets the longer interview? Well, With wit, humour. Yeah. <laughs> morning! 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 Here we are. I'm with all the mums in the wild park. Um, they're keeping fit. It's the most beautiful morning. This is the first outing of the blue coat. I'm with my friend Vera, who's actually a photographer. Um, I just wish Vera would follow me through life because it would make this whole thing so much easier. Well, this is like <laughs> She's, has she aged, Vera? Well, Matilda? Yeah. I don't know, she always appears same to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have I aged, Vera? No. <laughs> Have I aged? No, you look better than ever. <laughs> oh, wow. This is Vera. So, all the photographs... Oh, God, this flaming mask. All the photographs you see for our podcast, all the publicity stuff I use, and I never tell Vera when I'm using it, so I've probably broken all the copyright. Um, they're all 
their Vera's amazing pictures. Um, and you can find uh, Vera best on Flickr, but if you also want to follow her on Instagram, Vera, how can they do that? Oh, I'm V Photography and Art. V, v Photography and Art. It's what I say, the most talented people are always the most modest. There's people like me banging the drums saying how wonderful I am, and then there's true talent, and it's trying to get detail out of them. Don't you think this is wonderful here? Have you oh, been here? Just beautiful. I think once with you before. Yeah. We came here for coffee once. We came here for coffee. Plus, Vera and I usually go to the Regent's Park Open Air Theatre and watch the shows. What was the last show we saw oh, there? It was Jesus Christ Superstar, and we got drenched. We got drenched, and Vera wore my Mac home, <laughs> yes, my did. red Mac home. It was brilliant. It was amazing. That must have been two two years I don't ago. Know. Two, at least two yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, they're all playing tennis. All these uh, people here. It is height of activity, and this is the Wednesday before the lockdown Thursday, which I guess, can I then still see you after lockdown, or is that uh, forbidden? Yeah, you can have one person outside. outside. Yeah. Vera rang my doorbell, I went, oh, come on up, and she went, no, Joe, I'm not coming inside. So, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, something slipped my mind, I just thought, oh, she can leap up the stairs, but she can't. Um, so we are very much keeping to the rules. This one-way system here at the CAF, it's extraordinary. This is, did you know this is the oldest sports pavilion in London? No. Yeah. I didn't know that. It used to be used for longbow, you know, archery. Yeah. It's Matilda suits you, Vera. No, doesn't she? Just I'll have to get a dog. <laughs> Would you ever get a dog? Yes. Would you? Never thought until the last few months. Because of? I don't know. Love now being outdoors walking in nature woods taking photos and you know to have a dog would be really lovely give some people some top tips so i always say if you have a dog and we were told this anna and i photograph your dog in bluebells because they look amazing vera has just photographed uh, matilda and myself with the autumn leaves if people are thinking going out taking photographs this autumn vera what is the best ambiance what is the best way to photograph nature Probably, I would say early in the morning or later in the evening when the sun is really low and um, also try to have uh, tree branches above you so that the light is not too contrasty. Otherwise, you'll end up with a very light or very dark bits. So you want to try and get an even light if possible. Puggle. No, they kind of, kind of. Norman. Be careful. Norman. Norman. Uh, <laughs> nice. So nice. Dear, I'm always distracted by dogs. I've just left work. I'm running. Um, I'm wearing the coat. Oh, so sorry. I think it. I think you're going to get a bit bored with this coat because um, it's so distinctive. Uh, but I love it. Oh my god, it's instant warmth. Anyway, just finished my radio show. And um, I'm running into Fitzrovia because if I stand here, you can see the BT Tower behind me. That's what you can see from my flat window. Anyway, um, yes, I'm coming over the road because there is a dress shop, an independent local dress shop called Atelier 75. And I've actually been in there and filmed in there before because they do these lovely knitted cardigans. Um, I have a yellow one, all of you were raving about it. Anyway, they emailed me whilst they were on, whilst I was on air and they said, Joe, we are obviously closing for lockdown because this is Wednesday night, so they close at six. It's now quarter two. Um, and they said, but we have a whole new collection going up online. And I said, I would rather um, have a look at what you've got that's cozy, comfy, um, leisure wear, slumber wear, whatever, um, that we can wear around the house because we're going to be spending a lot of time indoors. So I'm here. I'm going to stay here because she's got a customer and I'm going to put my mask on. Then we're going to go in and have a look at um, leisure wear, comfy wear, stuff that we can wear around the house that's not too smart but is comfortable because um, I think we're going to be inside a lot for the next four weeks. 
Anyway, this is Atelier 75. How are you? How are you? Gosh. Well, I think, how are you? I'm okay. Good. Good. I'm going to try on just two outfits that is going to be lovely and comfortable be around the house, smart, leisure, cosy. Um, but you need to go online. I'll give you all the details. The link will be below of their new collection. So even though you can't come in, and they do really good returns here, so you can try it out. If you don't like it, return it. Um, it's really easy. Okay, right. I'm going downstairs. This is such a privilege when I have this whole shop to myself. <laughs> I absolutely love So this is what I consider real glamour and coziness at home. And I've even been given little socks, which Francesca gave me, which are the most beautiful little ankle socks. <laughs> um, and this is a pure silk slip that I'm wearing. Just look at this, with this moss coloured or sage. I'm so into sage. I really love sage. Um, little cardigan. How lovely to spend nights like this, watching Strictly, doing whatever, um, and you feel really cozy, really comfy. I absolutely love it. This is the slip, this is the cardi, this is the life. I'm gonna perch myself on this little velvet. There. Francesca, I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh. So all of you who love my yellow cardigan um, that I got here, this is the same designer. It's Italian. It is the softest. You know when people go, does it scratch? No, it is like you are wearing a bubble bath. It is so comfy. A big sloppy joe. And I love, Francesca, how did you manage to find trousers that fit me? Because <laughs> I am so tiny. Look at me. I'm so tiny. And these, have a slit up the side. Yeah. Are, who is this designer? It's Dushan. Dushan. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this, again, you could wear this over the slip, uh, over your slip dress, or just slip it on over some black trousers like this. I love it. So all I'm saying is, during these times, you have to treat yourself. I know everyone is worried. I know everyone is really worried. But at the same time, you have to look after yourself. And for me, I will go without. What will I go without? Well, I love good food. I'll go without drink. I'll go without certain things just to buy beautiful clothes. Because every time you put them on, you feel better. And that's what our life is now about. We're not traveling anywhere. We're not going anywhere. So invest in yourself and your wardrobe. I'm about to have a Zoom meeting, um, and this is in a way to help all of you help you to inform you um, about my earrings. Now, loads of people have asked about my the ring that I wear, this ring, and these earrings. And these earrings, I very seldom change my earrings. Sometimes I wear big earrings, but these are usually the earrings I wear day in and day out. I sleep in them. They're by um, a London designer called Anna Verdun. I um, actually don't think I've ever met her before. It's her partner who sells them in the Marylebone uh, market. 
weekend market, which I don't even think is happening anymore due to COVID. Anyway, so what I thought I'd do is ask her to come on and explain to you um, what they're made of, um, about her design, and, and I need to tell you, this is, I'm not being paid to do this. I'm doing this because I really am worried about all these independent companies. They are struggling so much. And if I can do anything to just shine a light on people who usually at this time of year would be gearing up for Christmas. Um, and, you know, I don't know how they're doing. But anyway, I'm going to have a Zoom meeting with her. Philippe is going to record this. And um, I'm meeting her for the first time. And she'll tell you a little bit about these earrings. Um, and yes, as I say, it, it, this is just out of goodwill and, you know, just discard it if you're not interested in jewellery or maybe just listen because she's an independent jeweller and it'd be interesting to hear a bit of her story. Setting up Zoom is a nightmare. I have this light here, it's absolutely useless. <laughs> so I just like, I'll just have daylight. I've given up caring, to be quite honest. I am in the Samantha Sun dress, so that's a help, isn't it? Anna Verden, it's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Um, so let's just talk about this. Um, my listeners, my viewers, should I say, to my YouTube channel, every time I wear these, and I actually wear no other earrings apart from if I go out, I'll wear big chunky earrings. These, I sleep in them, I wear them day in and day out. And they all ask, where are they from? And I just say, Anna Verdon, and I just send them, I send them your link. Um, and then you emailed me and said, Joe, we're getting all these inquiries from people who follow your YouTube channel. And you've actually, am I right in thinking you've named these earrings after me? Yeah. That's right, we have, in honor of you, Joe. <laughs> so explain what they are then. Well, look, we have a pair here so we can show them up close. Let's see if it doesn't blow in the camera. Perfect, perfect. So it's got a beautiful little citrine there. And it's a hammered silver circle with the gold studs around the edge. But it's just that uh, combination of silver and gold. And as you know, with the yellow stone, it just goes so well. Yes. And I love, because I, when I first bought them, I had very long hair, which you may remember. I looked like a very old Cinderella. Um, and now I've had my hair cut. And what I love about these is they suit this length. I don't want them to hang below my hairline. Do you know what I mean? But even with my hair behind my ears, they really suit and they don't detract from anything because it's what I call a blonde stone, you call it citron. It suits my blonde hair and people don't actually see it often until it catches the light. And then they go, yeah. So who designed them? Well, me, obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, I am the designer maker of everything that you see at Anna Verdun. Um, so yes, it's, I like a lot of uh, texture, so that's why I use a hammered finish in most of my jewelry. And if you, if you were to say that your jewelry had an image, I mean, I love, and I urge people to have a look at your website because there are so many beautiful pieces on there. But what would you say is your, what's your brand? What's your, what do they call it? E what is it? E what is the word? Aesthetic? Aesthetic? Or maybe. What's it, yeah. something selling point? Your unique selling point? USP? Yeah, I, I, you know, it's always so difficult uh, to... She likes too many different things, Joe. <laughs> That's the problem. She's always experimenting with different things. And... No, but something that I always comes back, back to to me or when I see my pieces is the because I like a lot of antique and ancient but I really like the modern twist because I don't like it when it's so you know ancient and that's it so I kind of seem to kind of more or less declutter these are very popular rings you probably remember seeing these yes, in Maryland yes, yeah, yeah. I love, I love that. An example of the, uh, let's see if I can get them all in there. Gosh, what is the green one? I love that top green one. The top green one is called Chrysoprase. Um, and it's kind of like jade. Uh, it's like jade, yeah. Jade, yes. Yeah. But they stack so well together, you know, so you can put 
This one's also, this is called Lavender Chalcedony. Let's see if we can get it like I always admired you because you would be out there with, Alex would be out there without Anna, with all this amazing jewellery in the snow, in hailstones. And you'd always, it's very interesting buying in a market situation because we would spend hours talking to you and then walk off. And you must have thought, well, that was a bloody waste of time. But it works because eventually people would come back. Do you know what I mean? Because that's how I shop. I look, I go off, I come back. So you must notice how people shop in markets, don't you? That's right. And of course, um, that particular market is, is great because it's a sort of cut through from uh, Marylebone Road. And, and so a lot of people just walk that way down through Reeves Park. And, and so you become part of the Saturday scene, really. And that's what's so much it fun was, about it. It was. So even if it's raining and cold. But then, of course, you know, if it is raining and cold and I haven't spoken to anyone for an hour or so, then I'm just <laughs> I'm really glad to see somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's why the conversations are a bit long. Um, listen, we must leave this here let me just tell everyone then all the people that keep asking about these earrings do have you on the website sorry this sounds so egotistic are they na named after me or do they they are that's yes. yeah i think we have stars around it they and everything are, joe, oh, joe, joe good joe good <laughs> so they if they go to your website these are called the joe good earrings are they they are yes. yeah they are and, um, and there are lots of others. If you don't want citron, there are all different designs in all different semi-precious gemstones. Is that right? Yes, that's that's right. right. And if you use, uh, like a stone that you don't see, but would you like, you'd like in this design, we can do that as well. And can I thank you guys? Because these, I wear these, I swim in them, I wear, and I broke the back off one of them many, many years ago. And you just repair them, which I was really grateful for because that is a service you don't often get. If you buy, you know, big commercial um, jewelers, you, you'd never get them repaired. Because these, I'd worn them for years, you know, when the back fell off. Or the butterfly, I lost, something happened. Anyway, and you were like a shot. You went, okay, yeah, here we are, we can fix that. So thank you. Anna, it's so lovely to meet you after yes. all these years. Yes. So just to finally, for um, anyone that wants to go online, what is your website? It's uh, Anna with one N at uh, AnnaBerdin.com. I will leave the link. I will leave the... Do you know what yeah. I love, Alex? Uh, yeah, I will. I'll leave the link in the description box and particularly my my earrings as well, what they're called, what they're called Joe Good. Oh, uh, we can, yeah, we can put a link direct to those. They're called like. Joe Good Cassia. Oh, Joe no. Good Cassia. Yes, if you could put a link to those. Um, and can I just say, I've always thought this, Alex, I'm not saying you're not talented, but the talent is always the most humble. <laughs> Years, <laughs> no, you it are. takes time to stand outside in the yeah. cold and rain exactly. for 10 years. <laughs> Can I say, Anna, he's the best ambassador. He's yeah. the best um, Because yeah, you yeah. never, honestly, Alex, in all the weather, you still smile, you still give us time, you still let us pick everything up. Because that's the other thing in a market. Everyone's picking everything up. We could easily walk off with it. So you must be having to watch everyone like a whore, can't you? Yeah, yeah we've been lucky. It's happened a few times, but generally it's fine. It's, fine. it's karma. Anna and Alex, thank you so much. And thank you very thank much. Thank you, Joe. Lovely to see you. One day I'll get to the showroom. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just going to have to shop online. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Good morning. It's a misty old morning, and Matilda's here actually, but she's so low down you can't see her. Um, I'm in Portobello, uh, well I'm in Notting Hill, I'm parked in Portobello Road. And I don't know if I've done the right thing. So I have had, for many years actually, a upper back problem. When I say a problem, my back has started to curve and I think it's because I sit and I have sat for 20 odd years over a microphone for many hours a day like this sometimes quite stressed sometimes not stressed but I think it started to um, affect my upper back and I when I practice my yoga there are some poses if you're a yogi that I just cannot do because my back won't straighten out like crow the poses that i benefit from are the twists so i don't think it is muscular and i well, i have no idea but, right so let me just tell you i'm here to see an osteopath now 
um, it's we've gone into lockdown, um, but it's a medical situation, so I'm allowed to go. My concern is, I've ne I was refer a friend of mine referred me to this guy. Um, she said she goes and he's great. He's you know um, old school osteopath. I googled him. I made an appointment to get an appointment. Took weeks, so that should have triggered something in my head. Um, I got an appointment six weeks ago for this morning. That's how booked up he is. And um, I just Googled him this morning, uh, mainly to find the, the proper address, but also to look at this guy um, and reviews and everything. And this is no word of a lie. He is Mick Jagger's osteopath. Now, I'm a huge Mick Jagger fan, but I'm also on limited finances, you know? I can't afford to see someone who's going to cost a four. I mean, what do I think I'm doing? I had no idea he was Mick Jagger's osteopath. Maybe he isn't, but there was a piece in the Times that said he was, and um, that it was a quaint little place in Portobello above a sort of hippie shop. I've just looked and that's exactly it, and that's where I'm going. So the next time you see me, I will turn this uh, camera on and I'll either be bankrupt, hopefully I'll be very grateful. Um, let's just wait and see. I mean, what price health, Matilda? What price health? like a panda <laughs> that's because I've had my eyes closed Wow Wow I have never been to an osteopath before I've been to a chiropractor years ago in Brighton oh my gosh so he he's wonderful what I love about him is he said I'm not I don't want to keep seeing you because I believe you should do the work to sum up he said my back my upper back was like sorry Matilda I've just woken Matilda up was like old boots he said you have a very flexible body um, and the fact that all the pain is just in one place he said at your age she's extraordinary not extraordinary he said it's really good but he said your upper back is like old boots and it's years of broadcasting the way i am and that's not you know that's my fault because i'm not in a good position when i'm broadcasting um i'm hunched and i'm sticking my neck out and he said you know you need to pull your stomach in you need to work from the core you need to do pilates as much as you're doing yoga so i'm going to start pilates as well as yoga he's amazing um he had a picture of rudolf nureyev on his wall not mick jagger and i couldn't ask him about mick I mean, can you imagine halfway through as he's clicking my neck I say has Mick actually lain on this table but I will tell you something um, you know he didn't even say look I need to see you in a in a month's time or anything he leaves it to you so I'm really impressed by that but I am gonna go and see him again after I've started to Pilates to see if there's any difference anyway my eyes it's because I had my eyes closed as he was working on my neck I literally zoned out, not asleep. I just loved years of stress coming out of my my back. But what he said is the muscles will just come back. Anyway, the best thing is that we are in lockdown. I could not go and spend money in any of the shops in Notting Hill. And he wasn't too expensive. He was 90 quid, 90 quid for an hour, you know? And this is 65 years worth of stress in my back. So yeah, money well spent. So that is it. Well, it's almost it from myself and Matilda. This week, what a week, busy old week. And yes, my lovely Himalayan pink salt lamp. So many of you say 
that you already had one and those of you who hadn't one, have got one um, have invested in a pink Himalayan salt lamp and I'm really, I love it, I absolutely love it. I've only had it for a week but anyway, if you don't know what I'm on about you need to watch last week's vlog. Before I go, so many of you ask what's happened to Mutti, how is Mutti um, and I did film with Mutti last weekend before the lockdown so it's Friday now and I filmed this last Sunday, it's just a tiny little bit, um, she's had a few tumbles, she's had a few falls but she's extraordinary, she just gets up and um, keeps going. Anyway here's a little bit of me and Mutti from last Sunday. It's such a scandal in the country as these peacocks <laughs> were about to be inhumanely or they said humanely dealt with but um yeah but it's quite funny because they're very noisy peacocks yeah i know but there's they nothing else happening in henfield no they've got lovely um tails and things like that you know I mean, you're just disrupting the silence. They want to live with the sirens that we have in London. I mean, I Londoners would the, love a peacock. I can understand the, the, um, the villagers that want to keep them. I mean, they make it really interesting. I mean, would you like to see a picture of my mother and father on the night they got engaged, was it? No, I wasn't engaged. We were at a dance. A dance. When was that? Oh, I can't remember now. For goodness sake, years ago. No, but you'd only just got off with each other, hadn't you? Oh, yes, we'd only just got to know each We didn't get married till 1928, I think it was. And there's, um, this is my favourite picture of my brother and I on a coal bunker. Oh, I love that one. Coal bunker in um, Hither Green. In London, yeah, Hither Green. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, Matilda, almost bedtime. One more announcement before we go, and it's from Philippe. Philippe has a single out, and he wanted to plug it on my YouTube channel. So very quickly, Philippe, tell us. You've got 10 seconds. And also want to know, are there any walkers this week as well after the video? Go on then, Philippe. Thank you. Um, yes, there is a walker this week, and I released a single two weeks ago, so if you're interested, the link will be down in the description. Joe will leave it for you, so thank you. Okay, enough, enough. We'll leave the links to literally everything, including his single below this. Everything. Everyone that's appeared on the vlog, whatever they're talking about, we'll leave the links below. Thank you so much for joining me. A long vlog this week. I promise you next week there will be a midweek uh, minx. It's just I had so much happening this week, I didn't have time. Have a great weekend, what's left of it, and I will see you next Wednesday at six. Bye. I'm walking, here's the